Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 6th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking here at 304 angstroms, which is the filter that they use. And we can see we have five sunspot regions still getting ready for an Earth-facing event. And a couple turning away. But we do have a few CMEs on their way to Earth. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming. Plasma filament eruptions. And as well, sunspot groupings. Outgoing. Looking at the last image, you can see a large plasma shot coming from the right-hand side, which would be the southern hemisphere of our sun. Not that one, but this one right there. Be able to get a closer look at it here. As we go through all of the events, we had that plasma filament that snapped in the northwest region, setting off a chain of events also in the southern hemisphere, just in the last few images here. That plasma shot that I was just talking about. Huge, and as well, a couple plasma filament destabilizations, northern hemisphere and equatorial region. So right now, with multispectrum, you can see darkened regions, which are the coronal holes. So we are getting ready for a coronal hole wind stream, as well as CMEs, coronal mass ejections from the most recent solar flares on our sun. The last three days on our star has been very, very busy if you've been paying attention. And again, I want to thank everybody who does pay attention. Thank you for watching and hitting the like button and as well commenting. It really helps with the alg algorithms and YouTube loves to recommend it. Having another look here, 171 angstroms. As I said, five sunspot regions getting ready for an Earth-facing event. So stay tuned. These groupings are very active. Also notable outgoing and incoming. Right now we are under a G2 moderate geomagnetic storm. As you can see, solar X-ray flux remains in heightened C range after a few long duration C-class flares. And as well, geomagnetic activity hopped up to KP6 overnight. Looking at real-time solar wind hovering around 500 kilometers per second. After 389 yesterday, as noted here with daily events worldwide, we we're expecting these density bunches to rise and then drop as the solar winds came, and so did the temperature. Up to 4.14. Our magnetosphere, this is having a look at our pressure planes. This is the last six hours of solar winds on our planet. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral still showing an outgoing large CME towards the Parker Solar Probe. Other than that, nothing new since that large blast that we were showing yesterday on the ISWA. Is that huge CME heading our way, but NOAA has it here. Having a look at the NOAA Space Prediction Spiral. As you can see, that large blast off from the sun heading towards the little green dot, which is Earth. The first one, not really Earth directed, but the second one definitely going to give us a glancing blow, seventh into the eighth. So that's tomorrow and through to the 10th, we're going to be seeing some heightened space weather conditions across the world. Most likely radio blackouts and such. Little green dot is our planet. All that other colorful stuff is space weather on its way to our planet. So stay tuned, stay aware and prepared, stay safe and healthy. Having a look at Alaska 3, showing the last 48 hours of events. Full halo CME and as well one, two, three, four CMEs taking off from our sun. And a couple recent CMEs taking off from the southeast region bottom right hand side and as well the northeast region amazing images here 
grateful for all of the modern day technology and satellites and grateful to have all of you tuning in every day. This is the Aurora forecast for the Northern Hemisphere as most of the Canadian prairies and Eastern Canada will see some Northern lights tonight. Last couple nights, Calgary and parts of Northern Alberta were reporting it, but it looks like we're gonna get as far south as possibly Northern Dakota Having a look at Southern Hemisphere, could see some northern lights towards Tasmania. And a very strong geomagnetic storm through parts of the Antarctic. Where's our North Pole? Doesn't look like it's very centered. Having a look at earthquakes here for the past 24 hours, only sitting at about 211 earthquakes across the USGS. No major earthquakes to talk about since all of the Japan activity yesterday, but we did see another deep earthquake here, Fiji region, about a 510 kilometer depth, as well as Kermadec Islands with a 5.1 magnitude. Notable earthquakes here through the Banda Sea, pretty deep as well. Luatolo with a large eruption. Volcano Islands region in Japan, 5.9, the largest 24 hours. 5.2, the largest today, and that was off the coast of Kamchatka. 4.2 earthquake there, Severnaya, Zemla, Greenland, quiet through Alaska, Hawaii, notable earthquake there, western islands of Hawaii, across the U.S., largest earthquakes were still 3.5 there, western Colorado yesterday, and as well, 3.6 Heber, California, and that's just south of the Salton Sea. But no swarm is occurring, but we will be keeping an eye on that. Feel free to come check it out any time on the live stream. As well, a 5.0 magnitude reported there, Guatemala border and Colombia with a 4.4. Lots of activity through the Caribbean as well. Puerto Rico, USGS has been flying over that place for the last few days, surveying the land. I wonder why. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. A quick glance at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Not everybody tunes in every day, but this is the last seven days for activity across the world. Largest being the 6.2, originally reported as a 6.5 in Japan. And we haven't seen that much deep activity through Fiji this week. Expecting that to change here once all this space where the pressure lifts. Speaking of pressure, having a look here at the highs and the lows over Northern Hemisphere right now. Low pressure bringing rain, high pressure bringing dry skies. A few surface level lows joining a Pacific low there through Western United States, gonna encroach up into the Canadian prairies and then over Ontario. Long range forecast showing a big storm for Eastern Canada. Atlantic provinces and Quebec with that large low pressure system packing millibars of 990, 984. But there's going to be a lot of snow associated with this system on the backside. Big, cool, high pressure ridge building in. But that's going to fuel quite a warm spell through Alberta. Having a look at Europe, lingering lows here forecast for the next long range west pacific southeast asia africa no major systems to talk about except for this cyclone that will be developing making landfall myanmar saturday the 13th of may and trekking northeastward notable there kind of a twin cyclone south of it on the other side of the equator other than that, lingering low here the next few days across the southeastern parts of Australia and New Zealand, but high pressure ridge building in for the whole continent. Long range forecast, things will be heating up. Speaking of heating up, we've got some extreme warm temperatures fueling up into northern BC and parts of the Yukon. You can thank this low driving up all of the warm equatorial moisture and high pressure ridge blocking it out sending it northward looking at possible 32 degrees celsius parts of northern bc and alberta 
and then watch all that very cool air fuel down with that large low pressure system off the Atlantic. Here's a look at our SO2 emissions. Not much has changed since yesterday, just showing the eruption over Guatemala and as well the lingering SO2 that's coming out of the Aleutian Islands and Alaska and Alberta. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody being affected by the wildfires in Alberta. Just a little bit suspicious when all of a sudden all of these fires break out overnight, burning through parts of central Alberta. Thoughts and prayers. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your gift in.